three race favourite, winner of the two warm up runs, the Olympic downhill champion. This is Katja Seitzinger looking to put Germany back into top position. 21, 24 year old from Obdach. A silver medalist to Peekaboo Street in the World Championships a year ago. 500 at the early split, very confident off the jump. Looking ahead to time the turn. The aim to stay in this top position as long as possible. We've clearly seen that it's the efficiency out of the top position is where this race will be won and lost. Perhaps the Acromineroli are the key turns to success. Very confident again off Torren and Seitzinger is pushing incredibly hard here. And she's rewarded. Almost three tenths quicker than Renata Gertschel. 75 miles per hour through the speed gun. A calm, cool cookie when the pressure is on, Katja Seitzinger. She's already won silver in the supergiant slalom. Into Aqua Minerali, nice and smooth. The skis carving very well indeed, and Seitzinger looks to be up once again. Into the second split, and it's 0.31 quicker. Renata Kirchhoff's lead for Austria could be short-lived as the big pre-race champion delivers the goods for Germany. The Borgata jump now comes up for Seitzinger. Confident from start to finish, and the confidence just falters a little off the last jump. Will that cost the gold? Seitzinger does it by 0.54 of a second. Gold and bronze, so there is the potential to break into the medal placings. This is the bronze medalist of the last World Championships in Sierra Nevada a year ago, America's Hillary Lynn. Another member of the US squad from Alaska. Started off the season very uncertain and lacking in confidence, but she's come stronger and stronger. Second in the second warm-up run to this competition last week. She was fourth in the World Cup competition prior to these World Championships. And Lind is slowly but surely coming back to her best form. This could be America's chance for their first medal in these World Championships. Oh, in trouble off the Tourette. Way back, way too far back on the tails, catching a lot of wind, and surely now Lind, ooh, 0.52. Now that could have been so much quicker if she had not stood so open and wide off the Torren jump. Now, Peekaboo Street not here, but Hilary Lind looking to make amends for the absence of the defending world champion. Hilary Lind is flying for the USA. Into the Aqua Minerali, the next testing part of this downhill course. Needs to get the skis to bite and carve through the snow. And no notable mistake from the American into the next split time. And she's still half a second quicker. The USA looking to topple the big pre-race favourite, Katya Seinsinger. And Hilary Lind is having the run of her career. She's experienced on the big occasion. She was the Olympic silver medalist in 92, but has struggled with injuries since then. 141.75, and America have done it! The United States of America, for the second year of asking, have claimed top position. Hilary Lind claims gold for America. Sighting at the big upset down in silver. Gertrude the bronze. Up to a 29-year-old. In this, her sixth world championship, she'll draw upon that experience here now. The silver medalist in the Super G in Sierra Nevada a year ago. Only 11th in that same competition here in Sestriere. And again, very fast on the top section. Heidi Zubrigan has won two downhills. Was second to Zalenskaya in that last World Cup competition in Larks a couple of weeks ago. A winner in Bad Klein Kirkheim and Cortina. Joint winner with Isolde Kostner. Now let's see if Heidi Zubrigan can put Switzerland back on top. Maria Valiser, 87, was their last win some 10 years ago. She's very aggressive. Heidi Zubrigan really charging on the top turn. Salto Turen keeps the weight forward. Good early ski to snow contact. Point to eight to find, but very quick through the gun. Almost 80 miles per hour. Now the Swiss star will need to draw upon her technical skills. Just a little late there. As we said at the beginning of this broadcast, if you get low and late in the line, there's a lot of new soft snow, which really does slow the skier down. The icy turns of Aquaminerali, high, 
effective and efficient. That's a good turn, a good exit for Zubrigan. Point two four. Switzerland looking to take Hilary Lind out of the chase. This is Heidi Zubrigan changing up a gear towards the end of her challenge. The big Borgata jump must be clean and smooth, and Zubrigan could claim gold. It's been a decade since Switzerland have had it, and Zubrigan's looking fast, coming in. Zubrigan, 600, the wrong side of the clock, takes silver medal position. Hilary Lind holds on to gold by the narrowest of margins. Costner now takes bronze. Seitzinger is out of the medals. Wieberg for Sweden. She openly admitted at a press conference a couple of days ago this has not been her world championships. This is the talented all-rounder's last opportunity to claim a medal. She crashed out of the combined as a defending champion two nights ago. She's never won a downhill in her career. She's come close, third in the opener in Lake Louise. This is the discipline that Penilla would so dearly love to win in. And why not claim your first victory in the most important one of them all, the World Championships? The 26-year-old from Nordkopping, now residing in Monaco, as always, 100% from start to finish, strong in the turns. And nice and high and smooth in the line. The Torren, oh, look at the flailing of the arms again. Trouble for Wieberg, but just gets out of trouble in time. And point two three. Wieberg searching not only for her first downhill victory, but her first World Championship medal of 1997. She said goodbye to her combined title. She's also said goodbye to her slalom title. And now, looking to come strong with the gold. The turns in Aquamina Raleigh will be vital to the Swedes' challenge. Finds the tuck. Very smooth in the exit, and Wieberg's in the chase for gold. Point two three off the Salto Blue. Squashes that one well. The Borgas to the last jump. Again, the accuracy in the turns has been textbook from start to finish. Nice and low in the tuck position. Wieberg looking to upset the tables once again. 141.18. Wieberg missed it. Point two six. The ski's not running to her advantage in the last shoes. Wieberg finally finds a medal at the World Championship. She's delighted with bronze.